how's it going? Um, back to uh, do another video here. So, um, changed the name of this one here to the Roadrunner. Uh, Silver Bullet is already taken by a very, very nice bike. And it deserves that name. This one here is also silver, but the Roadrunner sounds pretty decent. Seeing how this here will do over 63 miles an hour. And I've already uh, put that to the test. As it sits, just like that. With that sprocket on there. And uh, the Bully Turbo Clutch. As it sits, it'll do 63 miles an hour. Easy. Uh, probably a little bit more than that. However, however, let me come over to here and uh, show you this over here. That sprocket right there will increase the speed by a lot. So much that I, <laughs> yeah, I don't think I want to use that right now. Not until I get used to it, because this thing here, it's already doing 63 miles an hour, and that's, <laughs> that's pretty darn good. I got to admit, that's pretty good. All right, so then we have uh, the Green Goblin. I've been painting it and getting it all cleaned up. It was, it was yeah, it's pretty bad. It's looking, and I got over spray. I got to clean that up. That's going to drive me absolutely up the wall. I got over spray on the tire, and the chain were... Uh, I basically had a rag covering it and there was a spot that was open and uh, the chain got it got dusted <laughs> but I'll get that cleaned up that's easy to do I just you know got to get a you know, couple supplies that I ran out of uh, WD-40 mainly um, and that will clean right up so got that done gas tank is on there this one here was on uh, that one, well, uh, this gas tank. I mean, I clear coated it because uh, it got some rust on there somehow or another. I had to clean that off. And so I went ahead and cleaned it up and uh, clear coated it, as well as uh, some other parts of the frame. You know, in the back here, uh, around there. Uh, same with the other side, you know, just little areas, but got that done, and uh, this one here is working. Now, I took this one out, tested it, because uh, in one of my other videos, I uh, mentioned how uh, I packed the bearings of grease, and I seen a YouTube video uh, on this clutch, uh, I believe this one. What was that? Uh, the Normstar clutch. Um, let me go ahead and just turn that around there. Uh, that clutch there, it has bearings um, instead of bushings. Now I have another one just like it that has uh, the bushings, but I wanted uh, the bearings. And one video I seen, he's like, "Oh yeah, you got to pack them with bearing with uh, bearing grease and." uh not like he was doing uh-uh you know <laughs> I, i'm surprised that it it still works after all that but it does i had to clean it all out and be very very light on the grease on those with those bearings because uh if, if you put you know just too much it'll spew it out all over the place and It'll, it'll mess it up. You'll have, you'll have a mess. <laughs> so I got that cleaned up, took it out for a ride the other day and uh, it, it's working. So I'm happy about that. Um, I also got some overspray on uh, the sprocket down there. I don't know if you can see that. It's down at the bottom, but yeah, that's easy to clean up. So got that done and uh, uh, my lady's bike, Carrie, um, got that big old fat uh, 440 
uh, uh, what the heck is that motor called? <laughs> I'm drawing a blank here. It's two o'clock in the morning. Figured, you know, do a video. Why not? But um, the 440 uh, blah 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 motor. <laughs> um, got that uh, in there. I managed to stuff that in there uh, some time back. Um, 18 horsepower. Uh, when she gave it the throttle, that thing has so much power that it would kind of do like a V motor in one of them big old, you know, uh, muscle cars, you know, how it kind of shift like that when you give it the gas. That was doing the exact same thing. However, in a muscle car, you know, with a big old V8 engine, you know, uh, that, that's, that's kind of normal, you know, for that much power in a car. But with this, uh, I had to put some reinforcements in there. Now I have to uh, put this wire back. But um, right across here, going up to there, put that reinforcement in. Um, also here it has a pivot. Not for the rear suspension. Mm -mm, nope has a pivot there. I think it's for uh, taking it apart or something. I don't know. But it was causing a little bit of problems with this big old motor. You know, it's uh, one of the problems why it kept on doing that little shifting thing and I couldn't have that. You know, it's going to end up twisting and just breaking the frame. So I had to weld all that, the pivot, you know, had to get it all solid um, also on the other side and down here I had to weld over here and over there you can't really see it too well I had to go through it and put some uh, flat block spray paint on there just to clean it up you know the tubing that I use it, it's it's not that cheap stuff you know it's super thick so it ain't gonna break. Um, on the other side, did the same. Uh, got it all real nice and you know strong, We're really sturdy. Um, the carburetor, I changed out the jets in it. Um, I believe uh, the main jet, I it had a uh, believe it was a one. Let's see. I believe it was a 150 uh, jet that was in there. I took that out, put in a, uh, I believe it was a one, see it had a 150, I put in a 140 jet. And then uh, I think it was a secondary or jet or primary jet or, oh, shoot, you know, the, the little small one, the real skinny one that goes in there can't remember the name of that one but uh that one never I, we never changed it out you know so it didn't have any markings on it no numbers no nothing it was blank no way to tell what the heck it was so took that out got into my little kit over here of jets and uh put in a uh 35 i figured you know that'll work and it does now the problem we we're having was a lot of backfiring um probably getting too much fuel um not quite exactly sure um but i know that we hadn't messed with uh with the jets on here uh very much so i went ahead changed out the jets cleaned it all out blew it out made sure everything was you know really nice and clean um this hose here the uh uh vent hose here uh, that was a bit long. It was uh, kinked a, a little bit, so I shortened that up, you know, and put it all back together. And and uh, we ran it, and uh, no backfiring. You know, it's running good now. It runs strong, <laughs> nice and torquey. Oh yeah, and this here, yeah, I need to zip tie that back down. Yeah, that's a brake line. Yeah, and of course. <laughs> I need to take this out, 
and get some more practice on it. Now, um, it's a big bike, you know. Th th this here is an actual uh, Yamaha right here. You know, it's uh, uh, Yamaha YZ250X uh, trail bike, you know. Or, um, down here, you'll see I already changed out the the cover that was on here is a plastic one. Um, I'm running a, uh, uh, a weighted flywheel in there. I believe it's a uh, 13, 13 ounce or 13 or 14 ounce. I think it's a 13 ounce uh, weighted flywheel in there. Um, we had to use a spacer, you know, to uh, actually put that in, but got that. You know, everything's on there, everything's good now. So, quite happy about that. Uh, test right, I test rode it, you know, and uh, before it was, you know, when you're going real, real slow and you try to, you know, get that creepy crawliness, you know, just going real slow, uh, it'll die out. Yeah. So, put in the weighted flywheel and, uh, now, now I could do you know, a really nice, you know, slow cruise without it stalling, you know. And it's, uh, the whole purpose of doing that is for climbing. Now, I ain't into racing. I like trail riding. I like having fun. I like stopping, you know, on a trail and just soaking up the scenery, you know. I hate it when people take, you know, want, want me to go out there with them, go riding. I, I'm like, okay, I'll ride like a, a big idiot. And they want to haul ass. They want to get through the trails as quick as possible so they can get back to the truck, load it up, and go home. I'm like, well, what the hell? You know, nah. If, if I'm going to go riding, I'm going to go riding. I'm going to... I'm gonna ride. I'm gonna stop here and there. I got a kickstand. That's for trail. I want to go out there. I want to sit and soak up the nature, the the atmosphere, the the everything that the wilderness has to offer. I don't want to get through it as quick as possible. I mean, what the hell are you afraid of? Nah. I, I, I like to go out there. I like to ride. I like to explore. I like to soak up the atmosphere, the the nature and everything, and listen to the birds, you know. You know, call me, you know, old or whatever, you know. Don't care. I like to do certain things a certain way, you know. It's like, why go out there and haul ass just so you go home? It's like, Mm -mm. Now, so pretty soon I have to get on here, start getting used to it. Uh, the last one that I was going to buy from my buddy Raymond, who passed away a couple years ago, Thanksgiving Day, um, he had an older one, much older, uh, but they did some work on it, the gearing in there. I mean, that, that thing was full-on race. I mean, it was a beautiful bike for the age, you know. I mean, that thing was just, oof. <laughs> I, you know, I told him that I didn't want to ride it. You know, he wanted me to ride it because he got it from some guy off of Craigslist. You know, and he's, you know, wanted to see if I wanted to buy it, you know. And I'm pretty sure that's the whole reason, you know. And, uh he got me on it, and I didn't want to get on it because I knew I'd want to buy it if, if I got on it. So, he ended up getting me to ride one, you know, his bike, and, you know, it, it, I didn't stop. I didn't stop, you know. Now, I couldn't get his at the time. That was, that was a while back. You know, I didn't have the funds for that. But, uh, after a while, I got the funds for this one, and this one was a sight bit more than what he was asking for that's for damn sure you know that's why it's parked you know for right now and you know i got all the gear all the gear i'd ever need you know all all the paperwork everything that that i need to ride this beast off-road off-road of course 
off-road. Yeah, but I got everything. I'm just, you know, waiting for the time. You know, I messed up my shoulder, you know, not too long after I got it. Uh, messing around with, <laughs> I, I I believe it's it was that motor right there. It was in uh, the other bike, the Trailmaster, my other Trailmaster. I sold that one. And uh, I was pulling the motor out, and I was in a real tight area because it was being stored in another shed. And I screwed up my shoulder and it's, it's been a while and it's 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 getting better but um i'm waiting till it gets better because this thing you're going you need strength you you need you, you don't want to have a messed up shoulder when you're riding it you know that's that that wouldn't be good so i want to show you guys the own little projects and how they're coming along um i plan on doing some more uh pretty soon i'm not exactly sure when um, got the smoker over here that's on the back burner um, I got some I got metal down there for it you know for the lid and all that and there's a lot of grinding and all and rust removal and all that that needs to be done on the inside well, as well as outside so this one here is on the back burner I have other projects I need to do one at a time knock them out one at a time um, not taking any new projects right uh, right now. I've had people wanting me to build them gas tanks and uh, fender mount things or something. And I'm like, I, I I really can't right now. I got too much on my plate, and I do. I really do. I mean, this one here, all these, you know, except for that. That's my ladies. That is mine, but my stepfather wants to be able to use it whenever he wants I said sure as long as it stays on my property I ain't gonna be hauling that thing all over the place oh hell no that thing is massively huge I mean that's a big smoker well it will be I mean <laughs> look how long that thing is you know compared to my bike I mean it's shoot things as long as my bike and, and it's not even done I still have to put on the uh, the firebox That'll go right there. I think it's going to be massive. <laughs> going to be a lot of fun. Yep. And uh, pretty soon I'll be firing that up. That's uh, my plasma cutter. My lady thought uh, it's something that I needed, so she got it for me, and I appreciate that. Thank you, Carrie. You know, much appreciated. Um, she doesn't like it when I cut metal with the grinder, even though it makes a really, really tight beautiful cut she doesn't like all the sparks and metal getting in my eyes and all that even though I have all the proper gear to protect myself from that happening but she wanted to get it for me anyhow so there it is and I will be using that pretty soon getting it all hooked up and hopefully it'll be you know pretty darn decent I checked out some uh, YouTube videos on it and it is it's it's decent it's not the greatest you know no it ain't no no uh miller or uh you know lincoln or, or one of those high brands no but uh for stuff like this oh hell yeah that worked just fine that 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 that'll cut up some some stuff real quick so i'll be getting that together pretty soon um i'm gonna need to start doing videos where I show my face. I know I'm tired. Anyhow, so yeah, um, need to start doing videos where I show my face more. Um, show uh, uh, videos where it shows me actually working on these, uh, building them, putting them all together. Uh, fixing this and that it doesn't matter if it's uh, paint or welding or uh, carburetor adjustments and stuff you can see the green on on my hand it looks like ugh. <laughs> but you know I need to start uh, doing some videos like that because a lot of people on YouTube are doing it like that so I figure shoot you know I got two GoPros uh, an iPhone I got you know tripods you know stands and stuff I got another one over there you know little one and I got some more inside too you know 
I figured, sure, you know, I could get different angles, download them, you know, onto my uh, phone here, or, you know, whatever, and put together a nice good video. So, anyhow, wanted to uh, go through all this with you guys, and uh, if you're still watching, thank you, I appreciate it, and I will talk to y'all later.